Fantasy Basketball Trade Analyzer, the time to swap Kelly Ober Jr. as part of a bigger deal is now. Welcome to a new cast of trade candidates. Additionally, regardless of your trade targets, this is a juncture in the season where I would consider moving players on teams destined for the draft lottery. Teams that tank down the stretch are brutal for fantasy playoff reliability, so the thought of moving on from Pistons or Bulls or Wizards always creeps into my mind. This is more pertinent for veterans than young stars, however, as teams are still looking to evaluate talent down the stretch. Jalen Brunson leads the league with 8.2 minutes of possession time per game. The ball being in his hands for 23% of his time on the court is a concrete metric to determine a fantasy floor, and it places Brunson just ahead of Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Lamelo Ball, and Tyrese Halliburton, in that order. Brunson isn't in a by-low spot. He's averaging 27.4 points, 4.1 rebounds and 6.6 .6 assists while making 4.03s per game and shooting 51% from the field across New York's last 10 games. He boomed for 42 points in a win over Detroit on Thursday. However, despite his awesome production, he still isn't perceived in the same realm as the aforementioned names but he should be. His usage and ball dominance in the Knicks offense is elite. Brunson's pull-up scoring is yielding 11.6 points per game, second only to Doncic. Brunson is burying 43.8% of 4.2 pull-up threes per game, which has been a catalyst of his career best 47.2% clip from beyond the arc overall. Additionally, his pull-up repertoire should be sustainable and consistent since it's done on his own accord, as opposed to a stylistic decision by the Knicks. Brunson's 5.5 assists per game functions as a separator from the aforementioned cast of players. In terms of potential assists, which is better for determining how often players set up assist opportunities for teammates, Brunson's 11.1 .1 potential assists are well below Doncic, 16.0, Young, 18.5, Ball, 14.1, and Halliburton, 19.8. I would part with two to three quality contributors to acquire Brunson. Waiting for a more suitable by low juncture could also be wise, but he's a priority target to slot in as a top three player on your roster.